Hello and welcome to this English vocabulary in use section in which I portray the most used words starting with T so let's dive right in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to buy the best merch from my store from which I put a link in the description of every section and don't forget that the main objective of this channel is to provide the best information about all things related to English grammar to you. T. Table and Noun. The word, table, in the English language refers to a piece of furniture with a flat top and one or more legs, providing a surface for various activities. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of table. 1. They gathered around the table to enjoy a delicious meal together. 2. The students sat at the study table, focusing on their assignments and textbooks. 3. The company's board members discussed the financial report during the meeting around the conference table. 4. She placed the vase of flowers on the coffee table in the living room, adding a touch of elegance to the space. Tablet noun. The word, tablet, in the English language refers to a flat, portable device that typically consists of a touch-sensitive screen used for various tasks such as browsing the internet, reading, or playing games. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tablet. 1. He uses a tablet to read e-books and watch movies during his commute. 2. The doctor prescribed a new tablet to help alleviate her allergy symptoms. 3. She prefers to take notes during meetings using a tablet for convenience and efficiency. 4. The children enjoy playing educational games on their tablets, learning while having fun. Tackle verb. The word, tackle, in the English language can be used as a verb, meaning to confront or deal with a problem or challenge directly. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tackle. 1. The team gathered to tackle the issue of increasing customer complaints and devised a comprehensive plan to improve customer service. 2. She decided to tackle the difficult project head-on, dedicating extra time and effort to ensure its successful completion. 3. The government is implementing new policies to tackle climate change and reduce carbon emissions. 4. The teacher helped the students develop effective strategies to tackle complex math problems. Tail noun. The word, tail, in the English language refers to the hindmost part of an animal's body, especially when prolonged beyond the rest of the body or used to refer to the rear of an object or structure. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tail. 1. The dog wagged its tail enthusiastically as its owner returned home. 2. The peacock proudly displayed its colorful tail feathers during the mating ritual. 3. We were stuck in the traffic tail for over an hour due to the accident on the highway. 4. The airplane's tail section was damaged during the rough landing. Take verb. The word, take, in the English language can be used as a verb, indicating the action of holding, grabbing, or receiving something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, take. 1. She decided to take a walk in the park to clear her mind. 2. Please take this gift as a token of my appreciation for your help. 3. He had to take a break from work to attend to some personal matters. 4. The team's captain was forced to take a penalty kick during the crucial moments of the match. Tail noun. The word, tail, in the English language refers to a fictitious or true narrative, often involving imaginary events, characters, or a series of events. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tail. 1. She enjoyed reading fairy tales before bedtime to her young siblings. 2. The novel is a gripping tale of love and betrayal set in the 19th century. 3. He recounted a fascinating tale of his adventures during his backpacking trip through Europe. 4. The folklore of the region is filled with ancient tales of legendary heroes and mythical creatures. Talent noun. The word, talent, in the English language refers to a natural aptitude or skill, often in a specific area or field. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, talent. 1. She has a remarkable talent for playing the piano captivating audiences with her performances. 2. The company is actively seeking individuals with a talent for innovative problem solving. 3. His talent for storytelling made him a popular figure in the local community. 4. The school's art program aims to nurture the students' creative talents through various workshops and activities. Talk noun, verb. The word, talk, is a noun in the English language refers to a conversation or discussion between two or more people. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, talk, as a noun. 1. 
The talk between the two friends went on for hours as they caught up on each other's lives. 2. The manager gave a motivating talk to the employees about the company's future plans. 3. The children were engrossed in an animated talk about their favorite cartoons during lunchtime. 4. She found comfort in the heart-to-heart -heart talk with her best friend about her recent struggles. The word, talk, is a verb in the English language refers to the act of speaking with someone or engaging in conversation. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, talk, as a verb. 1. We should talk about our plans for the weekend. 2. She loves to talk about her travels to different countries. 3. The manager will talk to the team about the new project during the meeting. 4. They need to talk things through and resolve their differences. Tall adjective. The word, tall, in the English language is an adjective that describes something or someone of great height, usually above average. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tall. 1. The tall trees in the forest provided shade from the scorching sun. 2. She had to look up to meet the gaze of the tall man standing in front of her. 3. The basketball player's tall stature gave him an advantage on the court, allowing him to score easily. 4. The tall buildings in the city created a striking skyline visible from miles away. Tank noun. The word, tank, in the English language can refer to a large receptacle or container for holding liquids or gases, or it can signify a military vehicle with heavy armor and weapons. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tank. 1. The fish tank in the living room is home to a variety of colorful tropical fish. 2. The army deployed several tanks to secure the border during the conflict. 3. The fuel tank of the car was completely empty, requiring an immediate refill. 4. The water tank on the rooftop collects rainwater for household use. Tap noun. The word, tap, in the English language can be used as both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it refers to a device for controlling the flow of a liquid, while as a verb, it means to strike lightly or to extract a resource. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tap. 1. Please turn off the tap after you're done washing your hands. 2. The plumber had to fix the leaky tap in the kitchen sink. 3. He gently tapped on the door to get his friend's attention. 4. The company plans to tap into new markets to expand its customer base. Tape noun. The word, tape, in the English language can refer to a narrow strip of material, often used for various purposes such as recording, fastening, or marking. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tape. 1. She used duct tape to fix the broken handle on her suitcase. 2. The musician recorded the song using a tape recorder in his home studio. 3. The construction workers used caution tape to mark off the unsafe area. 4. The nurse applied a bandage to the wound using medical tape to keep it secure. Target noun. The word, target, in the English language can refer to an objective, goal, or desired outcome, or it can signify an object or person aimed at or fired at. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, target. 1. The company set a high sales target for the upcoming quarter. 2. The archer carefully aimed at the target before releasing the arrow. 3. The marketing campaign was designed to target young professionals in urban areas. 4. The government implemented new policies to target unemployment and stimulate job growth. Task noun. The word, task, in the English language refers to a piece of work to be done or undertaken, often requiring effort or skill. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, task. 1. She completed the challenging task of organizing the event within a tight deadline. Two. The students were assigned the task of writing an essay on the impact of technology on society. 3. His main task at the office was to oversee the implementation of the new software system. 4. The cleaning crew divided the tasks among themselves to efficiently tidy up the entire building. Taste noun, verb. The word, taste, is a noun in the English language refers to the sensation produced by a particular flavor. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, taste, is a noun. 1. The taste of the freshly baked bread was delightful, with a hint of herbs and spices. 2. Her dislike for spicy food stemmed from her sensitive taste buds. 3. The chef adjusted the seasoning to enhance the taste of the soup. 4. The sweet taste of the ripe strawberries reminded her of summer days from her childhood. The word, 
Taste is a verb in the English language refers to the action of sampling the flavor of something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of taste as a verb. 1. She asked the waiter if she could taste the soup before ordering a full bowl. 2. The baker asked her to taste the batter to ensure it had the right balance of sweetness. 3. He carefully tasted the wine to determine its quality and flavor profile. 4. The chef tasted the sauce and added a pinch of salt to balance the flavors. Tax noun. The word, tax, in the English language refers to a compulsory financial charge or levy imposed by a government on individuals or entities to fund public expenditures. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tax. 1. The government plans to increase the income tax for high-earning individuals next year. 2. He was surprised by the high sales tax imposed on certain luxury items. 3. The company's profits were affected by the heavy corporate tax rate. 4. The citizens voiced their concerns about the rising property tax at the town hall meeting. Taxi noun. The word, taxi, in the English language refers to a car or other vehicle that can be hired to carry passengers for a fare, typically operating without a fixed route or schedule. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, taxi. 1. She hailed a taxi to take her to the airport for her early morning flight. 2. The taxi driver helped load the luggage into the trunk before starting the journey. 3. They decided to share a taxi to the city center to save on transportation costs. 4. The busy streets were filled with honking taxis, each vying for the attention of potential passengers. T noun. The word, T, in the English language refers to a hot drink made by infusing the dried, crushed leaves of the tea plant in boiling water. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tea. 1. She prefers to start her day with a cup of hot green tea. 2. The host offered a variety of teas, including black, green, and herbal, to the guests. 3. He invited his friends over for afternoon tea, serving a selection of pastries and sandwiches. 4. The comforting warmth of a cup of tea often helps to relax and unwind after a long day. Teach verb. The word, teach, in the English language is a verb that refers to the action of imparting knowledge or skill to someone by instruction or example. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, teach. 1. She has been teaching English as a second language for over a decade. 2. The parents hired a tutor to teach their child math and science. 3. He used various interactive techniques to teach the students about the solar system. 4. The experienced coach was able to teach the young athletes the fundamentals of the sport. Teacher noun. The word, teacher, in the English language refers to a person who instructs or educates others, often in a school or educational setting. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, teacher. 1. The teacher guided the students through a complex math problem during the class. 2. She aspired to become a teacher and inspire young minds through her passion for literature. 3. The dedicated teacher organized an engaging science experiment for the students to participate in. 4. The parents expressed their gratitude to the teacher for her patience and dedication in helping their child succeed academically. Teaching noun. The word, teaching, in the English language can be used as a noun, referring to the occupation or activity of providing education to others. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, teaching. 1. Her love for teaching inspired her to pursue a career in education. 2. The school implemented innovative teaching methods to enhance student engagement and learning. 3. Effective teaching requires a combination of patience, creativity, and strong communication skills. 4. The conference focused on exploring new approaches and strategies in language teaching. Team noun. The word, team, in the English language refers to a group of people working together to achieve a common goal or objective, typically characterized by collaboration and mutual support. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, team. 1. The soccer team celebrated their victory after a challenging match. 2. The marketing team collaborated to create a comprehensive advertising campaign for the new product launch. 3. She was excited to join the research team and contribute to the groundbreaking scientific study. 4. The team of volunteers worked tirelessly to provide aid to the victims of the natural disaster. Tear noun, verb. The word, tear, 
is a noun in the English language refers to a drop of clear salty liquid secreted by glands in the eye when one is crying or as a result of strong emotion. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tear as a noun. 1. A single tear rolled down her cheek as she listened to the emotional speech. 2. The child wiped away the tears after falling down and scraping his knee. 3. Her eyes welled up with tears of joy as she watched her son receive his diploma. 4. He was moved to tears by the touching ending of the movie. The word, tear, is a verb in the English language has two distinct meanings. It can mean to pull or rip something apart forcefully or to move quickly. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tear, as a verb. 1. She accidentally tore her dress on a nail while walking through the garden. 2. The child was upset and started to tear the paper into small pieces. 3. The car tore down the highway, racing to get to the hospital in time. 4. The wind tore through the trees, creating an eerie howling sound in the night. Technical adjective. The word, technical, in the English language is an adjective that refers to something relating to a specific skill, art, science, or specialized field, often requiring specialized knowledge or expertise. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of technical. 1. The technical aspects of the project demand a high level of expertise in engineering. 2. He is known for his technical proficiency in playing the guitar, mastering complex solos effortlessly. 3. The manual provides detailed technical instructions on how to assemble the furniture. 4. The company is looking for candidates with strong technical skills to fill the vacant IT positions. Technique noun. The word, technique, in the English language refers to a method or a way of carrying out a particular task, especially one requiring skill or precision. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, technique. 1. The artist's unique painting technique involves using a palette knife to create textured layers. 2. The chef demonstrated the proper chopping technique to ensure uniform pieces of vegetables. 3. The athlete's training regimen focuses on improving his running technique and speed. 4. The teacher introduced different reading techniques to help the students comprehend complex texts. Technology noun. The word, technology, in the English language refers to the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially in industry. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, technology. 1. The rapid advancements in technology have transformed the way we communicate and access information. 2. The company invested heavily in new technology to improve its production efficiency and product quality. 3. The students conducted experiments in the science lab to explore the latest technology in robotics. 4. The use of blockchain technology has revolutionized the way financial transactions are conducted globally. Telephone noun. The word, Telephone, in the English language refers to a system for transmitting voices over a distance using wire or radio, typically consisting of a handset that is held to the ear while speaking. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, telephone. 1. He used the telephone to call his friend and discuss their plans for the weekend. 2. The company's customer service representatives are available to assist you over the telephone. 3. She left a message for her colleague on the telephone voicemail when he wasn't available. 4. The invention of the telephone revolutionized communication, allowing people to connect over long distances. Television noun. The word, television, in the English language refers to a system for transmitting visual images and sound that are reproduced on screens. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, television. 1. She enjoys watching the news on television every evening to stay informed about current events. 2. The children were excited to watch their favorite cartoon show on television on Saturday morning. 3. The company's advertisement was broadcasted on national television during prime time. 4. He purchased a new high-definition television to enhance his viewing experience of movies and sports. Tell verb. The word, tell. In the English language is a verb that means to communicate information or facts, often by speaking or writing. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tell. 1. She will tell you all about her recent trip to Europe when you meet her. 2. The witness was asked to tell the court what he saw on the night of the incident. 3. He could tell from her expression that she was upset about something. 4. 
The history books tell us about the events that shaped our world. Tele noun. The word tele is a colloquial term in the English language that refers to a television. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tele. 1. They gathered around the tele to watch their favorite show together. 2. The kids were glued to the tele, engrossed in the animated series. 3. He enjoys relaxing on the couch with a bag of chips while watching the tele. 4. The family room is equipped with a large tele, making it the perfect spot for movie nights. Temperature noun. The word temperature in the English language refers to the degree or intensity of heat present in a substance or object, especially as measured using a thermometer. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of temperature. 1. The temperature outside dropped significantly, prompting people to bundle up in warm clothing. 2. The doctor took his temperature to check for signs of fever. 3. The optimal storage temperature for the perishable items is maintained using specialized refrigeration equipment. 4. She adjusted the thermostat to increase the room temperature, making the atmosphere more comfortable. Temporary adjective. The word temporary in the English language is an adjective that refers to something lasting for only a limited period. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of temporary. 1. She found a temporary job at the bookstore to earn some extra money during the summer. 2. They stayed in a temporary shelter after their house was damaged by the storm. 3. The office hired a temporary assistant to help manage the workload during the busy season. 4. The company relocated its employees to a temporary workspace while the main office underwent renovations. Tend verb. The word tend. In the English language, is a verb that means to regularly or frequently behave in a particular way or have a certain characteristic. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tend. 1. He tends to arrive early for meetings to ensure everything is prepared in advance. 2. The flowers in the garden tend to bloom beautifully during the spring season. 3. She tends to become anxious before public speaking engagements. 4. They tend to prefer outdoor activities like hiking and camping during their vacations. Tendency noun. The word tendency in the English language refers to an inclination or predisposition to behave or act in a particular way. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tendency. 1. Her tendency to procrastinate often leads to last minute rushes to complete her assignments. 2. The team noticed a growing tendency among consumers to prefer online shopping over in store purchases. 3. The manager discussed the employee's tendency to arrive late to work and suggested implementing a stricter attendance policy. 4. The novel's protagonist had a tendency to overanalyze every situation, often leading to indecision and doubt. Tennis noun. The word tennis in the English language refers to a sport played either between two individuals or two pairs. Using rackets to hit a ball back and forth over a net. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tennis. 1. They often play tennis on the weekends for fun and exercise. 2. She enrolled in a tennis class to improve her skills and technique. 3. The tennis match between the two rivals lasted for over three hours, with each player displaying remarkable skill and determination. 4. He enjoys watching professional tennis tournaments, cheering for his favorite players during the Grand Slam events. Tension noun. The word tension in the English language can refer to the state of being stretched tighter to a mental or emotional strain. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tension. 1. The tension in the room was palpable as the two leaders engaged in a heated debate. 2. She massaged her neck to relieve the tension built up from hours of sitting at the computer. 3. The political tension between the two neighboring countries heightened after the border dispute. 4. The suspense thriller movie kept the audience on the edge of their seats, with tension building throughout the plot. Tent noun. The word tent in the English language refers to a portable shelter made of cloth, supported by one or more poles and stretched tight by cords or loops attached to pegs driven into the ground. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tent. 1. They pitched a tent in the forest and spent the night camping under the stars. 2. The hikers sought refuge from the rain by setting up their tent on higher ground. 3. The children enjoyed playing inside the makeshift tent they built using bed sheets and chairs. 4. The family set up a large tent in the backyard for the outdoor barbecue party. Term noun. The word term 
In the English language can refer to a word or phrase used to describe a thing or to a fixed or limited period for which something, especially an office or prison sentence, lasts. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of term. 1. The term, democracy, refers to a system of government by the whole population or all the eligible members of a state, typically through elected representatives. 2. The president's second term in office is marked by significant economic reforms and diplomatic achievements. 3. She was sentenced to a five-year prison term for her involvement in the fraud scheme. 4. The contract outlined the terms and conditions of the agreement between the two companies. Terrible adjective. The word, terrible, in the English language is an adjective that describes something extremely bad or serious, causing fear or dread. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, terrible. 1. The storm last night was terrible, causing extensive damage to homes and infrastructure. 2. She had a terrible headache that lasted the entire day, making it difficult to concentrate. 3. The news of the accident was terrible, leaving the entire community in shock and grief. 4. He made a terrible mistake by sending the confidential email to the wrong recipient. Terribly adverb. The word, terribly, in the English language is an adverb that is used to describe something done in an extreme or excessive manner. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, terribly. 1. The children were terribly excited about their upcoming trip to the amusement park. 2. She felt terribly sorry for unintentionally causing her friend's injury. 3. He was terribly disappointed when he didn't receive the promotion he had been hoping for. 4. The food at the new restaurant was terribly salty, making it almost inedible. Territory noun. The word, territory, in the English language refers to an area of land under the jurisdiction of a ruler or state. It can also denote an area defended by an animal or group of animals against others of the same sex or species. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, territory. 1. The two countries are currently in dispute over the ownership of the territory along the border. 2. The cat marked its territory by spraying urine on the bushes in the backyard. 3. The explorer ventured deep into the uncharted territory in search of ancient ruins. 4. The sales team expanded its territory to reach out to potential clients in the neighboring towns. Terror noun. The word, terror, in the English language refers to an extreme fear or intense dread often caused by a perceived threat or danger. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, terror. 1. The passengers experienced moments of sheer terror during the turbulent flight. 2. The city was gripped by terror after the sudden outbreak of a deadly virus. 3. The survivors of the natural disaster recounted their experiences of terror and devastation. 4. The horror movie was filled with scenes that evoked a sense of terror and suspense among the audience. Terrorist noun. The word, terrorist, in the English language refers to a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, terrorist. 1. The government's primary focus is on preventing terrorist attacks and ensuring national security. 2. The organization has been linked to several terrorist activities in the region, causing widespread fear and unrest. 3. The authorities apprehended a suspected terrorist who was planning an attack on a crowded public place. 4. The country has implemented stringent measures to track and eliminate terrorist cells operating within its borders. Test noun, verb. The word, test, is a noun in the English language refers to a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or reliability of something, especially before it is taken into widespread use. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, test, as a noun. 1. The students prepared for the final test by studying diligently throughout the semester. 2. The laboratory conducted a series of tests to determine the effectiveness of the new drug. 3. The engineer performed a stress test on the bridge to ensure its structural integrity. 4. She passed the driving test on her first attempt and received her license. The word, test is a verb in the English language means to take measures to check the quality, performance, or reliability of something, especially before it is taken into widespread use. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, test, as a verb. 1. The company plans to test the new software extensively before releasing it to the public. 2. 
The doctor will test your blood samples to determine the presence of any abnormalities. 3. She tested the microphone before the event to ensure that it was functioning properly. 4. The teacher will test the student's knowledge of the material through a series of quizzes and exams. Text noun, verb. The word, text, is a noun in the English language refers to a piece of written or printed material, typically in book or digital form. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, text, as a noun. 1. She referenced a historical text to support her argument during the debate. 2. The students were assigned to read a challenging text for their literature class. 3. He received a text message from his friend informing him about the change in plans. 4. The museum displayed an ancient text dating back to the 12th century. The word, text, is a verb in the English language means to send a text message, typically via a mobile phone. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, text, as a verb. 1. She will text you the address of the restaurant for tonight's dinner. 2. He texted his colleagues to inform them about the meeting postponement. 3. They agreed to text each other updates throughout the day to stay in touch. 4. Please remember to text your mother to let her know you arrived safely. Then conjunction, preposition. The word, then, is a conjunction in the English language used to introduce the second element in a comparison. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, then, as a conjunction. 1. She is taller than her younger sister. 2. He prefers coffee rather than tea in the morning. 3. It's better to be early than to be late for the meeting. 4. I would rather stay home than go out in this bad weather. The word, then, is used as a preposition in the English language to introduce the second element in a comparison. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, then, as a preposition. 1. She has more experience than I do in managing large projects. 2. He has a better sense of direction than most of his friends. 3. This book is more interesting than the one I read last week. 4. The restaurant is less crowded today than it was yesterday. Thank verb. The word, thank, is a verb in the English language that means to express gratitude or appreciation to someone for something they have done or provided. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thank. 1. She wanted to thank her colleagues for their support during the challenging project. 2. He called to thank his neighbor for helping him with the car trouble. 3. The organization sent a letter to thank the donors for their generous contributions. 4. They thanked the volunteers for their hard work and dedication to the community project. Thanks noun, interjection. The word, thanks, is a noun in the English language that is used to express gratitude or appreciation for something that has been done or given. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thanks, as a noun. 1. She expressed her heartfelt thanks to everyone who supported her during the difficult time. 2. His thanks were conveyed to the team for their outstanding performance on the project. 3. They received a gift from their friends as a token of thanks for hosting the dinner party. 4. The manager extended her thanks to the staff for their hard work and dedication to the company. The word, thanks, can be used as an interjection in the English language to express gratitude or appreciation. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thanks, as an interjection. 1. A. Uh, here's the report you asked for. B. Thanks, I appreciate it. 2. A. I bought you a coffee. B. Thanks, that's very kind of you. 3. A. Uh, I'll take care of the dishes tonight. B. Oh, thanks, that would be great. 4. A. I managed to fix your computer. B. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. That adverb, determiner, pronoun, conjunction. The word, that, can function as an adverb in the English language, typically used to introduce a clause providing further information about something previously mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, that, as an adverb. 1. He was so tired that he could barely keep his eyes open. 2. The music was so loud that we couldn't hear each other speak. 3. She was so excited that she could hardly contain her enthusiasm. 4. The car was driving so fast that it became difficult to see the road ahead. The word, that, can function as a determiner in the English language, typically used to indicate a specific person, thing, idea, or situation mentioned or understood. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, that, as a determiner. 1. 
He wants that book on the shelf. 2. Look at that beautiful sunset. 3. I like that red dress you are wearing. 4. Can you pass me that pen, please? The word, that, can function as a pronoun in the English language, typically used to introduce a clause providing further information about something previously mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, that, as a pronoun. 1. I am certain that it will rain tomorrow. 2. She believes that honesty is the best policy. 3. The fact that you passed the exam is commendable. 4. He insists that he will arrive on time for the meeting. The word, that, can function as a conjunction in the English language, typically used to introduce a subordinate clause, indicating the content of what is being reported or thought. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, that, as a conjunction. 1. She said that she would be there on time. 2. He promised that he would call you later. 3. It is clear that he has a strong work ethic. 4. The doctor confirmed that the patient had fully recovered. The definite article, determiner. The word, the, is a definite article in the English language, used before a noun to specify or particularize the noun. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, the, is a definite article. 1. Please pass the salt. 2. The cat is sitting on the mat. 3. He is going to the store to buy some groceries. 4. We enjoyed the movie we watched last night. The word, the, functions as a determiner in the English language, indicating that a noun refers to a specific item or items. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, the, as a determiner. 1. The house at the end of the street is for sale. 2. He goes to the gym every day. 3. Please pass me the salt. 4. We need to fix the leaking faucet in the kitchen. Theater noun. The word, theater, in the English language refers to a building or outdoor area where plays and other dramatic performances are given. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, theater. 1. The theater was packed with excited audience members eager to watch the new production. 2. She has been involved in various theater productions since she was a teenager. 3. The company rented out the local theater for the week to host their annual conference. 4. The students performed a play at the school theater to showcase their acting skills. Their determiner. The word, there, is a possessive pronoun in the English language that is used to indicate possession or ownership by a group of people or things. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, there. 1. They forgot their backpacks at the park. 2. The students submitted their projects before the deadline. 3. The couple invited their friends to join them for dinner. 4. The team celebrated their victory with a party. Theirs pronoun. The word, theirs, is a pronoun in the English language that signifies possession by multiple people or things. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, theirs. 1. The red car is theirs, they bought it last year. 2. The responsibility for the project's success is largely theirs. 3. The yellow house with the white fence is theirs, they just moved in last month. 4. The decision to go on vacation was ultimately theirs, they planned the entire trip. Them pronoun. The word, them, is a pronoun in the English language that is used to refer to one or more people or things that have already been mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, them. 1. Please give them the documents when they arrive. 2. I saw them at the party last night. 3. Have you spoken to them about the upcoming event? 4. The teacher handed them their test papers. Theme noun. The word, theme, in the English language refers to the main subject or message that is being discussed or described in a piece of writing, speech, artwork, or other creative work. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, theme. 1. The theme of the novel revolves around the triumph of love over adversity. 2. The conference will focus on the theme of sustainable development in urban areas. 3. The artist chose a nature-inspired theme for the exhibition, showcasing landscapes and wildlife. 4. The movie's underlying theme of redemption resonated with audiences worldwide. Themselves pronoun. The word, themselves, is a reflexive pronoun in the English language, used to refer to people or things as the object of a verb or preposition when they are the same people or things who are the subject of the verb. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, themselves. 1. They built the entire bookshelf themselves. 2. The children prepared the snacks for the party themselves. 3. 
the team members challenged themselves to complete the project ahead of schedule. 4. The actors themselves were responsible for designing the costumes for the play. Then adverb. The word, then, in the English language can be used as an adverb to indicate a consequence, subsequent action, or a sequence of events. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, then. 1. She finished her work, and then she went out for a walk. 2. If you're ready, then we can begin the presentation. 3. He missed the bus, then had to walk home in the rain. 4. We'll meet at the office at 9, and then we'll head to the conference together. Theoretical adjective. The word, theoretical, in the English language refers to something based on theory or speculation rather than practicality or proven facts. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, theoretical. 1. The professor presented a theoretical framework for understanding the complexities of quantum physics. 2. The research team is exploring a theoretical approach to solving the long-standing problem in astrophysics. 3. She developed a theoretical model to explain the behavioral patterns observed in the study. 4. The students engaged in a theoretical discussion on the potential implications of the economic theory. Theory noun. The word, theory, in the English language refers to a system of ideas intended to explain something, especially one based on general principles independent of the thing to be explained. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, theory. 1. The scientist proposed a new theory to explain the behavior of the newly discovered particles. 2. The class discussed various theories about the origins of the universe. 3. She is conducting research to test the validity of her theory about human cognition. 4. The detective has a theory about the motive behind the crime, but it requires further investigation. Their adverb, pronoun, the word, their, is used as an adverb in the English language to indicate a place or position. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, their, as an adverb. 1. The keys are over there on the table. 2. She pointed to a building and said, I used to work there. 3. He placed the book there, on the top shelf. 4. There is a park near our house where we like to walk in the evenings. The word, there, can function as a pronoun in the English language, often used to introduce the existence of something or someone. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, there, as a pronoun. 1. There is a solution to every problem if you look hard enough. 2. There were no survivors in the plane crash. 3. There is a package for you at the front desk. 4. There were many complaints about the noise from the construction site. Therefore adverb. The word, therefore, is an adverb in the English language that is used to introduce a logical conclusion or consequence. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, therefore. 1. He missed the train, therefore, he arrived late to the meeting. 2. The results were inconclusive, therefore, further testing is required. 3. She failed to submit the required documents on time, therefore, her application was rejected. 4. The forecast predicted heavy rainfall, therefore, we decided to postpone the outdoor event. They pronoun. The word, they, is a pronoun in the English language used to refer to a group of people or things. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, they, as a pronoun. 1. They are planning to visit the museum this weekend. 2. The children said they wanted to go to the park. 3. The team celebrated their victory, as they had worked hard all season. 4. The committee members discussed the issue, and they reached a unanimous decision. Thick adjective. The word, thick, is an adjective in the English language that can describe something with a large distance between opposite sides, or something that is dense or difficult to see through. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thick. 1. The fog was so thick that driving became hazardous. 2. He added more flour to make the soup thicker and more substantial. 3. The walls of the ancient castle were several feet thick, providing excellent defense. 4. She wore a thick coat to keep warm in the freezing temperatures. Thin adjective. The word, thin, is an adjective in the English language that can describe something having little thickness or depth, or being sparsely covered or populated. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thin. 1. The ice on the pond was too thin to walk on safely. 2. She had a thin layer of frosting on her birthday cake. 3. The crowd grew thin as the rain started to pour down heavily. 4. 
The book had thin pages, making it easier to carry around. Thing noun. The word, thing, is a noun in the English language that refers to an object, concept, or activity of importance or interest. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thing. 1. He couldn't find his keys, they were the first thing he searched for. 2. The most important thing is to stay positive in challenging situations. 3. She likes to collect little trinkets and things from her travels. 4. Learning a new language is not an easy thing to do, but it can be rewarding. Think verb. The word, think, is a verb in the English language that means to have a particular opinion, belief, or idea about someone or something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, think. 1. I think she is a talented musician. 2. He thinks it's going to rain later today. 3. They think the new policy will benefit the company in the long run. 4. She thinks that honesty is the best policy in all situations. This determiner, pronoun, the word, this, is a determiner in the English language, used to indicate something that is nearby, or that has already been mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, this, as a determiner. 1. This book on the table is very interesting. 2. Can you pass me this pen, please? 3. This movie we watched last night was really entertaining. 4. I don't understand this concept, can you explain it to me again? The word, this, can function as a pronoun in the English language, used to refer to a specific person, thing, or idea that is nearby or has been previously mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, this, as a pronoun. 1. I like this, but I prefer that. 2. This is my favorite painting in the gallery. 3. She didn't expect this to happen during the trip. 4. We should focus on this before moving on to the next step. Though adverb, conjunction. The word, though, is an adverb in the English language that is used to introduce a statement that contrasts with or modifies a previous statement. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, though, as an adverb. 1. She didn't win the competition, but she performed well though. 2. It was a challenging hike, but the view was worth it though. 3. He wasn't feeling well, but he still managed to finish the project though. 4. The weather was cold, but they enjoyed the picnic though. The word, though, can function as a conjunction in the English language, used to introduce a statement that contrasts with or modifies a previous statement. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, though, as a conjunction. 1. She is very talented, though she doesn't always show it. 2. It was raining, though the weather forecast had predicted sunshine. 3. He has a busy schedule, though he always finds time for his hobbies. 4. The dress was expensive, though it was of high quality. Thought noun. The word, thought, is a noun in the English language that refers to an idea or opinion produced by thinking, or the process of thinking itself. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thought, as a noun. 1. Her thought was that they should leave early to avoid traffic. 2. He had a brilliant thought that could potentially solve the problem. 3. The professor shared his thoughts on the current state of the economy. 4. My initial thought was to decline the offer, but I reconsidered after further discussion. Threat noun. The word, threat, is a noun in the English language that refers to a statement or action that expresses an intention to cause harm, damage, or negative consequences. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, threat, as a noun. 1. The police took the online threat seriously and investigated the matter thoroughly. 2. The company implemented strict security measures to counter any potential cyber threats. 3. The animal's aggressive behavior posed a threat to the safety of the hikers in the area. 4. The government issued a warning about the potential threat of a natural disaster in the region. Threatened verb. The word, threatened, is a verb in the English language that means to express an intention to cause harm, danger, or distress to someone or something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, threatened, as a verb. 1. The storm clouds threatened to unleash heavy rainfall on the city. 2. He threatened to resign if his demands were not met. 3. The rise in unemployment threatens the stability of the economy. 4. The aggressive behavior of the dog threatened the safety of the neighborhood. 3. Number. The word, 3, is a numeral in the English language that represents the number 3. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, three. One, 
She has three siblings, two brothers, and a sister. 2. The meeting is scheduled for 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3. They plan to spend three days at the beach during their vacation. 4. The recipe calls for three cups of flour and two eggs. Throat noun. The word, throat, is a noun in the English language that refers to the passage that leads from the back of the mouth to the esophagus and the windpipe. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, throat, as a noun. 1. Her sore throat made it difficult for her to speak. 2. He had a lump in his throat when he heard the emotional speech. 3. The doctor examined his throat to check for any signs of infection. 4. The singer's powerful voice resonated through the theater, captivating everyone's attention in the room. Through preposition, adverb. The word, through, can function as a preposition in the English language, indicating movement within or into one side and out of the other side of an enclosed space. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, through, as a preposition. 1. We walked through the park to reach the other side of the town. 2. He passed the ball through the hoop, scoring the winning basket. 3. The river flows through the valley, creating a picturesque landscape. 4. She read through the entire book in one sitting. The word, through, can function as an adverb in the English language, indicating movement into one side and out of the other side of an enclosed space. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, through, as an adverb. 1. She pushed her way through the crowded room. 2. The sunlight streamed through the window, illuminating the entire room. 3. The water flowed through the narrow channel, creating a soothing sound. 4. He worked tirelessly through the night to finish the project on time. Throughout preposition, adverb. The word, throughout, is a preposition in the English language that means in every part of a place or object. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, throughout, as a preposition. 1. The museum displayed paintings throughout its many galleries. 2. She searched for her keys throughout the entire house. 3. Throughout history, many great leaders have emerged in times of crisis. 4. The festival brought joy and celebration throughout the entire town. The word, throughout, can function as an adverb in the English language, indicating in every part or during the whole time. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, throughout, as an adverb. 1. The music played throughout the night, keeping everyone on the dance floor. 2. She remained calm and composed throughout the difficult situation. 3. He felt a sense of accomplishment throughout the entire project. 4. The team worked tirelessly throughout the weekend to meet the deadline. Throw verb. The word, throw, is a verb in the English language that means to propel something through the air with a motion of the arm and hand. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, throw, as a verb. 1. She can throw a baseball with great accuracy. 2. He threw the ball to his friend across the field. 3. Please do not throw garbage on the ground, use the trash can. 4. The athlete will throw the javelin in the upcoming competition. Thus adverb. The word, thus, is an adverb in the English language that means in this way or manner, or as a result or consequence. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, thus. 1. The evidence was inconclusive, thus, the case was dismissed. 2. He couldn't find the right tools, thus, he had to improvise with what he had. 3. The weather forecast predicted heavy rain, thus, we decided to cancel the outdoor event. 4. She scored well in her exams. Thus, she gained admission to her dream university. Ticket noun. The word, ticket, is a noun in the English language that refers to a small piece of paper or card that gives the holder a certain right, especially to enter a place, travel by public transportation, or participate in an event. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, ticket, as a noun. 1. Please remember to bring your ticket to the concert for entry. 2. He purchased a train ticket for his journey to the city. 3. The parking attendant issued a parking ticket for violating the parking regulations. 4. She won a golden ticket to the exclusive gala event. Tidy adjective. The word, tidy, is an adjective in the English language that means arranged neatly and in order. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tidy, as an adjective. 1. She always keeps her room tidy and organized. 2. The librarian maintains a tidy collection of books on the shelves. 3. The office was always kept tidy, creating a productive work environment. 4. 
He appreciated her efforts to keep the garden tidy and well maintained. Tie noun, verb. The word, tie, is a noun in the English language that refers to a piece of material worn around the neck, typically knotted at the throat. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tie as a noun. 1. He wore a colorful tie to the formal event. 2. Her father gifted her a silk tie for her birthday. 3. The groom chose a stylish tie to match his suit for the wedding. 4. The company has a strict dress code, requiring employees to wear a tie to work. The word, tie, is a verb in the English language that means to fasten or secure with a knot or string. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tie, as a verb. 1. He will tie the balloons to the chair for the party decorations. 2. The shoelaces were too long, so she had to tie them again. 3. Please tie the rope tightly around the pole to secure the tent. 4. The chef will tie the roast with string before putting it in the oven. Tight adjective. The word, tight, is an adjective in the English language that can describe something firmly fixed in place, difficult to move, or closely packed together. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tight, as an adjective. 1. The lid was on too tight, and she couldn't open the jar. 2. He held the rope tight to prevent it from slipping. 3. The jeans were too tight, so she couldn't button them. 4. The room was so tight that it was difficult to move around. Tile noun. The word, tile, is a noun in the English language that refers to a thin, flat piece of baked clay or other material, used in overlapping rows for covering roofs, floors, walls, or other surfaces. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tile, as a noun. 1. The bathroom floor is covered with white ceramic tiles. 2. They chose a slate tile for the kitchen backsplash. 3. The roofer replaced the damaged roof tiles after the storm. 4. The museum's atrium features a beautiful mosaic tile design. Till preposition, conjunction. The word, till, is a preposition in the English language that means up to the time of or before. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, till, as a preposition. 1. The store is open from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. 2. He worked tirelessly from morning till night to finish the project. 3. The exhibition will run from June till September. 4. She saved every penny from January till December to afford her dream vacation. The word, till, can also function as a conjunction in the English language, typically used to indicate a concession or contradiction. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, till, as a conjunction. 1. He kept trying, till eventually, he succeeded. 2. She refused to give up, till her efforts were recognized. 3. They worked tirelessly, till their hard work paid off. 4. The team struggled, till they finally won the championship. Time noun. The word, time, is a noun in the English language that refers to the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future, regarded as a whole. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, time, as a noun. 1. Time flies when you're having fun. 2. She spent a lot of time preparing for the exam. 3. They enjoyed spending quality time with their family. 4. It's time to start planning for the future. Tin noun. The word, tin, is a noun in the English language that refers to a silvery white metal, often used as a protective coating or for making various items. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tin, as a noun. 1. She stored the cookies in an airtight tin to keep them fresh. 2. The company manufactures tin cans for food packaging. 3. The roof was made of corrugated tin, providing protection from the elements. 4. He used a tin of paint to freshen up the walls in the living room. Tiny adjective. The word, tiny, is an adjective in the English language that describes something very small in size. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tiny, as an adjective. 1. The tiny kitten fits snugly in the palm of her hand. 2. They built a tiny house in the countryside for weekend getaways. 3. She found a tiny seashell on the beach and kept it as a souvenir. 4. The tiny insects were barely visible to the naked eye. Tip noun, verb. The word, tip, is a noun in the English language that refers to the pointed or rounded end of something, or a piece of advice or useful information. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tip, as a noun. 1. 
He sharpened the pencil to a fine tip before drawing. 2. The waiter received a generous tip for his excellent service. 3. She shared some useful cooking tips with her friends. 4. The detective received a crucial tip that helped solve the case. The word, tip, can function as a verb in the English language, meaning to move or cause to move into a tilted or sloping position. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tip, as a verb. 1. He accidentally tipped over the glass of water on the table. 2. She carefully tipped the vase to pour out the remaining water. 3. The strong wind tipped the trash can and scattered the garbage on the street. 4. The weight on one side of the boat caused it to tip dangerously. Tired adjective. The word, tired, is an adjective in the English language that describes the feeling of needing rest or sleep. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tired, as an adjective. 1. She felt tired after working a long shift at the hospital. 2. He decided to go to bed early as he was too tired to stay awake. 3. The children were tired after playing outside all day. 4. The long journey left her feeling tired and fatigued. Title noun. The word, title, is a noun in the English language that refers to the name of a book, composition, or other artistic work, or a designation of an official or academic position. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, title, as a noun. 1. The title of the book caught her attention in the bookstore. 2. He was awarded the prestigious title of, doctor, after completing his PhD. 3. She holds the title of, CEO, at the company. 4. The painting's title was displayed prominently next to the artwork in the gallery. To preposition. The word, to, is a preposition in the English language, indicating direction, position, or movement in the direction of someone or something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, to, as a preposition. 1. She walked to the store to buy some groceries. 2. He gave the gift to his best friend on her birthday. 3. The letter was addressed to the CEO of the company. 4. They traveled to the mountains to enjoy the scenic views. Toast noun. The word, toast, is a noun in the English language that refers to sliced bread browned by heat, or a call to a group of people to raise their glasses and drink together. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, toast, as a noun. 1. She spread butter and jam on her toast for breakfast. 2. The waiter served champagne to everyone for the celebratory toast. 3. He proposed a heartfelt toast in honor of the newlyweds. 4. The restaurant offers a variety of toppings for their toasted sandwiches. Today adverb. The word, today, is an adverb in the English language that refers to the current day or the present time. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, today, as an adverb. 1. I have a meeting with my boss today. 2. Today is my brother's birthday, so we're having a celebration. 3. She finished her homework earlier today. 4. We are going to the beach today to enjoy the sunny weather. Toe noun. The word, toe, is a noun in the English language that refers to any of the five digits at the end of the human foot. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, toe, as a noun. 1. He stubbed his toe on the corner of the bed. 2. She painted her toenails with a bright red polish. 3. The new shoes were too tight, causing blisters on her toes. 4. The athlete injured his big toe during the game. Together adverb. The word, together, is an adverb in the English language that means with or in proximity to one another, or in a unified manner. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, together, as an adverb. 1. They worked together to complete the project on time. 2. The family sat together at the dinner table every evening. 3. We sang together in perfect harmony during the choir performance. 4. The group of friends planned to travel together during the summer vacation. Toilet noun. The word, toilet, is a noun in the English language that refers to a fixture used for urination and defecation, or a room or compartment containing such a fixture. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, toilet, as a noun. 1. Please remember to flush the toilet after use. 2. He cleaned the toilet thoroughly to ensure it was hygienic. 3. The restaurant's toilet was clean and well-maintained. 4. The new house has two bathrooms, each with a toilet and a shower. Tomato noun. The word, tomato, is a noun in the English language that refers to a glossy red or yellow pulpy edible fruit that is eaten as a vegetable. 
Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of tomato as a noun. 1. She sliced the tomato and added it to the salad. 2. He planted several tomato plants in his backyard garden. 3. The sandwich was filled with lettuce, cheese, and fresh slices of tomato. 4. The farmer harvested ripe tomatoes from the field to sell at the market. Tomorrow adverb. The word, tomorrow, is an adverb and noun in the English language that refers to the day after today. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tomorrow. 1. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. 2. She is leaving for a business trip tomorrow morning. 3. Let's finish the report tomorrow to give us more time for editing. 4. Tomorrow is a public holiday, so the office will be closed. Ton noun. The word, ton, is a noun in the English language that refers to a unit of weight equivalent to 2,000 pounds, or a large amount or number. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, ton, as a noun. 1. The truck carried a ton of gravel for the construction project. 2. She has a ton of work to complete before the deadline. 3. They donated a ton of canned food to the local food bank. 4. The ship carried several tons of cargo across the ocean. Tone noun. The word, tone, is a noun in the English language that refers to the general character or attitude of a place, piece of writing, situation, etc., or the sound of a musical note. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tone, as a noun. 1. The author used a formal tone in her academic writing. 2. His speech had a confident and persuasive tone that captivated the audience. 3. The artist played a haunting melody with a melancholic tone on the violin. 4. The teacher's stern tone indicated that she was not pleased with the class's behavior. Tongue noun. The word, tongue, is a noun in the English language that refers to the fleshy muscular organ in the mouth used for tasting, swallowing, and speaking. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tongue, as a noun. 1. She burned her tongue while sipping the hot tea. 2. He could speak multiple languages fluently, showcasing his skilled tongue. 3. The doctor examined her throat and tongue during the checkup. 4. The child stuck out his tongue to make a funny face. Tonight adverb. The word, tonight, is an adverb and noun in the English language that refers to the current or approaching evening. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tonight. 1. We have plans to go to the movies tonight. 2. She is hosting a dinner party at her house tonight. 3. The concert is scheduled for tonight at the local amphitheater. 4. Let's finish the project tonight to meet the deadline. 2. Adverb. The word, to, is an adverb in the English language that means also or in addition to what has been mentioned. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, to, as an adverb. 1. She wants to come too, so there will be three of us. 2. He enjoyed the play too, despite not being a fan of theater. 3. The coffee was too hot for her to drink immediately. 4. He worked too hard and neglected his health. Tool noun. The word, tool, is a noun in the English language that refers to an instrument or device used to carry out a particular function. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tool, as a noun. 1. He used a hammer as a tool to drive in the nails. 2. The mechanic has an impressive collection of tools in his garage. 3. She relied on various gardening tools to maintain her backyard. 4. The carpenter brought his toolbox filled with a variety of tools to the construction site. Tooth noun. The word, tooth, is a noun in the English language that refers to each of a set of hard, bony enamel-coated structures in the jaws of most vertebrates, used for biting and chewing. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tooth, as a noun. 1. She went to the dentist to have her tooth examined. Two. He accidentally chipped his front tooth while playing basketball. 3. The child lost his first tooth and eagerly awaited a visit from the tooth fairy. 4. The dentist recommended regular brushing to maintain healthy teeth. Top noun, adjective. The word, top, is a noun in the English language that refers to the highest or uppermost part of something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, top, as a noun. 1. He placed the vase on the top of the bookshelf. 2. The weather forecast predicted snow on the mountain tops. 3. The children raced to be the first to reach the top of the hill. 4. The restaurant had a beautiful rooftop terrace with a stunning view of the city. The word, top, 
Can function is an adjective in the English language, indicating the highest position or part of something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of top as an adjective. 1. She carefully placed the top card on the deck. 2. The top floor of the building offers a panoramic view of the city. 3. He wore his favorite top hat to the formal event. 4. The top bunk bed was the preferred choice for the older sibling. Topic noun. The word topic is a noun in the English language that refers to a matter dealt with in a text, discourse, or conversation. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of topic as a noun. 1. The professor introduced a new topic for discussion in the lecture. 2. The book covers a wide range of topics related to environmental conservation. 3. They had a lively debate on the topic of climate change. 4. The students were asked to write an essay on a topic of their choice. Total noun, adjective. The word, total, is a noun in the English language refers to the whole quantity or amount of something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, total, as a noun. 1. The sales team calculated the total for the month's revenue. 2. The total of all the expenses surpassed the available budget. 3. The cashier handed her the receipt showing the total for her purchases. 4. He was surprised by the total of the bill after dining at the restaurant. The word, total, can function as an adjective in the English language, indicating the complete amount or quantity of something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, total, as an adjective. 1. The team celebrated their total victory in the championship. 2. The project required the employee's total commitment and dedication. 3. She was in awe of his total transformation after the intense workout regimen. 4. The company's restructuring plan led to a total overhaul of their business operations. Totally adverb. The word, totally, is an adverb in the English language that means completely or entirely. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, totally, as an adverb. 1. She was totally absorbed in the book and didn't notice the time passing. 2. The new policy will totally revamp the company's approach to customer service. 3. He was totally unprepared for the sudden change in weather. 4. The results of the experiment were totally unexpected. Touch noun, verb. The word, touch, is a noun in the English language that refers to the sense by which an object is recognized by the pressure of the skin. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, touch, as a noun. 1. His gentle touch comforted her during the difficult time. 2. The baby explored the world through touch and taste. 3. The texture of the fabric felt rough to the touch. 4. She recognized him by his unique touch on the piano keys. The word, touch, is a verb in the English language that refers to the action of coming into or being in contact with something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, touch, as a verb. 1. She gently touched the flower petals to feel their softness. 2. Please do not touch the artwork in the gallery. 3. His kindness touched the hearts of those around him. 4. The branches of the trees touched the surface of the lake. Tough adjective. The word, tough, is an adjective in the English language that means strong and resilient, difficult to cut or break, or difficult to endure or accomplish. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tough, as an adjective. 1. The steak was tough and hard to chew. 2. The team faced a tough opponent in the championship game. 3. She had a tough time adjusting to the new job. 4. The hiker braved the tough terrain to reach the mountain peak. Tour noun. The word, tour, is a noun and verb in the English language that refers to a journey for pleasure during which several different places are visited. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tour, as a noun and verb. 1. They went on a guided tour of the historical landmarks in the city. 2. The band is currently on a world tour, performing in various countries. 3. The company organized a factory tour for the new employees. 4. She plans to tour Europe next summer to explore different cultures. Tourist noun. The word, tourist, is a noun in the English language that refers to a person who is traveling or visiting a place for pleasure. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tourist, as a noun. 1. The city attracts millions of tourists each year with its rich cultural heritage. 2. The tourist took numerous photographs of the famous landmarks. 3. The guidebook provided useful tips for tourists visiting the area. 4. 
The beach was crowded with tourists enjoying the sunny weather. Towards preposition. The word, towards, is a preposition in the English language that indicates movement in the direction of. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, towards, as a preposition. 1. He walked towards the bus stop to catch the next bus. 2. The company is making progress towards achieving its sustainability goals. 3. She felt a sense of excitement as she took steps towards her dream career. 4. They made a generous contribution towards the charity's fundraising campaign. Towel noun. The word, towel, is a noun in the English language that refers to a piece of absorbent fabric or paper used for drying or wiping. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, towel, as a noun. 1. She grabbed a towel to dry her hands after washing them. 2. He wrapped a towel around his waist after taking a shower. 3. The hotel provided fresh towels for the guests every day. 4. She spread the towel on the beach to lie down and sunbathe. Tower noun. The word, tower, is a noun in the English language that refers to a tall, narrow building or structure. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tower, as a noun. 1. The tower stood tall against the city skyline, visible from miles away. 2. They climbed to the top of the tower to enjoy the panoramic view of the surrounding area. 3. The medieval castle had a massive stone tower as its centerpiece. 4. The communication tower provided a strong signal for the entire region. Town noun. The word, town, is a noun in the English language that refers to a human settlement larger than a village but smaller than a city. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, town, as a noun. 1. They moved to a small town in the countryside to enjoy a quieter lifestyle. 2. The town center was bustling with shoppers during the holiday season. 3. The town hall was the venue for the community meeting. 4. They decided to explore the charming town's historical sites and local attractions. Toy noun. The word, toy, is a noun in the English language that refers to an object, often a small one, that is used for play. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, toy, as a noun. 1. The child eagerly unwrapped the new toy on Christmas morning. 2. The store had a wide variety of educational toys for toddlers. 3. He collected vintage toy cars as a hobby. 4. She donated her old toys to a local children's charity. Track noun. The word, track, is a noun and verb in the English language that can refer to a path or course laid out for a specific purpose, or the act of following something's path or progress. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, track, is a noun and verb. 1. The runners raced around the track at the stadium. 2. The bloodhounds were able to track the scent of the missing hiker. 3. The train track leads all the way to the city center. 4. He used a GPS device to track his hiking route in the mountains. Trade noun, verb. The word, trade, is a noun in the English language refers to the action of buying and selling goods and services. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trade, as a noun. 1. International trade plays a vital role in the global economy. 2. The trade between the two countries has increased significantly over the past decade. 3. The fair showcased a variety of products from different trades. 4. The textile trade was a major industry in the region during the 19th century. The word, trade, is a verb in the English language refers to the action of buying and selling goods or services. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trade, as a verb. 1. They decided to trade their baseball cards for new ones. 2. The merchants traded spices along the Silk Road. 3. He traded his old bicycle for a skateboard. 4. The company is looking to trade with international partners for expansion. Tradition noun. The word, tradition, is a noun in the English language that refers to customs, beliefs, or practices passed down within a culture from one generation to the next. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tradition, as a noun. 1. Celebrating Thanksgiving with a big family dinner is a cherished tradition in many households. 2. The festival showcases the rich cultural traditions of the local community. 3. The wedding ceremony included several traditional customs and rituals. 4. Passing down family recipes from one generation to the next is an important tradition in their family. Traditional adjective. 
The word, traditional, is an adjective in the English language that refers to customs, beliefs, or practices that are long established and commonly accepted within a particular culture. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, traditional, as an adjective. 1. They prepared a traditional Thanksgiving dinner with turkey and all the fixings. 2. The museum exhibited a collection of traditional African artwork. 3. The ceremony was conducted in accordance with traditional customs and rituals. 4. The restaurant serves traditional Italian cuisine prepared with authentic recipes. Traffic noun. The word, traffic, is a noun in the English language that refers to the movement of vehicles or people on roads or in the air. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, traffic, as a noun. 1. The morning rush hour brought heavy traffic to the city center. 2. The airport experienced a surge in air traffic during the holiday season. 3. The traffic on the highway came to a standstill due to an accident. 4. Pedestrians should be cautious when crossing the road, especially during peak traffic hours. Trailer noun. The word, trailer, is a noun in the English language that refers to an unpowered vehicle towed by a powered vehicle. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trailer, as a noun. 1. They loaded the camping gear onto the trailer before heading to the national park. 2. The moving company used a large trailer to transport the furniture. 3. The movie trailer gave viewers a glimpse of the upcoming blockbuster. 4. He attached a bike trailer to his bicycle to carry his groceries home. Train noun, verb. The word, train, is a noun in the English language that refers to a connected group of vehicles that move along a track to carry passengers or freight. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, train, as a noun. 1. The train arrived at the station right on schedule. 2. She took the overnight train to travel across the country. 3. The freight train carried a long line of shipping containers. 4. The children were excited to watch the model train move around the track. The word, train, is a verb in the English language means to teach a particular skill or behavior through practice and instruction. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, train, as a verb. 1. The coach trained the athletes for the upcoming championship. 2. She trained her dog to perform various tricks. 3. The company plans to train its employees on the new software system. 4. The academy trains aspiring chefs in various culinary techniques. Trainer noun. The word, trainer, is a noun in the English language that refers to a person who teaches or coaches individuals or groups in a particular skill or activity. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trainer, as a noun. 1. The fitness trainer designed a personalized workout program for each client. 2. The basketball team hired a new trainer to improve their performance. 3. The dog trainer helped the owners manage their pet's behavior. 4. She aspired to become a professional horse trainer and work with thoroughbred racehorses. Training noun. The word, training, is a noun in the English language that refers to the action of teaching a person or animal a particular skill or type of behavior. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, training, as a noun. 1. The company provided comprehensive training for new employees. 2. The training program focused on improving customer service skills. 3. The athlete underwent rigorous training to prepare for the upcoming competition. 4. The dog's behavior improved significantly after consistent training sessions. Transaction noun. The word, transaction, is a noun in the English language that refers to an instance of buying or selling something or an exchange of goods, services, or funds. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transaction, as a noun. 1. The online store processed thousands of transactions during the holiday season. 2. The real estate transaction was finalized after months of negotiations. 3. He made a quick cash transaction at the bank to cover his expenses. 4. The credit card company monitors all transactions for potential fraud. Transfer noun, verb. The word, transfer, is a noun in the English language refers to the action of moving someone or something from one place to another or the process of changing to a different job, school, or location. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transfer, as a noun. 1. The transfer of goods from the warehouse to the store was handled efficiently. 2. She requested a transfer to the company's international division in Paris. 3. 
the school approved his transfer to a different class due to scheduling conflicts. 4. The team's captain announced his transfer to a rival club at the end of the season. The word, transfer, is a verb in the English language means to move from one place to another or to convey from one person, place, or situation to another. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transfer, as a verb. 1. They transferred the data from the old computer to the new one. 2. The company decided to transfer several employees to its branch in another state. 3. She transferred her membership from the local gym to the new fitness center downtown. 4. He plans to transfer to a different university for the next academic year. Transform verb. The word, transform, is a verb in the English language that refers to the process of making a thorough or dramatic change in form, appearance, or character. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transform, as a verb. 1. The artist used vibrant colors to transform the dull wall into a stunning mural. 2. Regular exercise and a healthy diet can help transform your body over time. 3. The company implemented new technology to transform its outdated business practices. 4. Her success story has the power to transform the lives of countless individuals. Transition noun. The word, transition, is a noun in the English language that refers to the process or period of changing from one state or condition to another. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transition, as a noun. 1. The company is undergoing a difficult transition to a more sustainable business model. 2. The students struggled with the transition from high school to college. 3. The political transition marked a significant shift in the country's governance. 4. The new software aims to ease the transition from traditional to digital record keeping. Translate verb. The word, translate, is a verb in the English language that means to express the sense of words or text in another language or to convert something into a different form. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, translate, as a verb. 1. She can fluently translate from Spanish to English and vice versa. 2. The company hired a professional translator to translate the document accurately. 3. The technology helps to translate spoken words into written text in real time. 4. He used his artistic skills to translate the emotion of the scene onto the canvas. Transport noun. The word, transport, can function as a noun and a verb in the English language, referring to the movement of people or goods from one place to another, typically using vehicles such as buses, trains, or planes. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transport, is a noun and a verb. 1. The transport of goods from the warehouse to the distribution center was efficient. 2. They decided to transport the materials by train instead of by truck. 3. The city's public transport system includes buses, subways, and trams. 4. The company provided transport to and from the airport for its employees. Transportation noun. The word, transportation, is a noun in the English language that refers to the act of moving people or goods from one place to another. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, transportation, as a noun. 1. The city invested in improving its public transportation system to reduce traffic congestion. 2. The transportation of goods by sea is a cost-effective option for international trade. 3. He relies on public transportation to commute to work every day. 4. The company arranged transportation for the participants to attend the conference. Trash noun, verb. As a noun, the word, trash, refers to waste material or things that are no longer wanted or needed. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trash, as a noun. 1. Please take out the trash before it starts to smell. 2. The streets were strewn with trash after the parade. 3. The trash bin was overflowing with discarded paper and plastic. 4. She noticed someone had thrown their trash on the sidewalk, despite the nearby garbage can. As a verb, the word, trash, means to damage or destroy something completely. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trash, as a verb. 1. He threatened to trash the old furniture if no one wanted it. 2. The vandals attempted to trash the park benches with graffiti. 3. The critics were quick to trash the new movie for its poor storyline. 4. She decided to trash her old journal entries to start fresh with a new perspective. Travel noun, verb. As a noun, the word, travel, 
refers to the act or activity of journeying from one place to another, especially over a considerable distance. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of travel as a noun. 1. Her love for travel led her to explore numerous countries across the globe. 2. The company provides a generous travel allowance for its employees. 3. International travel restrictions have impacted the tourism industry significantly. 4. He documented his travel experiences in a detailed journal. As a verb, the word travel means to make a journey, typically of some length or to move from one place to another. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of travel as a verb. 1. They plan to travel to Europe for their summer vacation. 2. She loves to travel and explore new cultures and cuisines. 3. The team will travel to New York for the championship game next week. 4. He often travels for business, visiting different branches of the company. Tray noun. The word, tray, is a noun in the English language that refers to a flat, shallow container with a raised edge, used for carrying or holding things. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tray, as a noun. 1. The waiter carried the drinks on a silver tray. 2. She placed the freshly baked cookies on a decorative tray. 3. He brought her breakfast in bed on a wooden serving tray. 4. The flight attendant handed out snacks on a plastic tray during the flight. Treat noun, verb. As a noun, the word, treat, refers to an event or item that is especially pleasurable or indulgent. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, treat, as a noun. 1. The ice cream cone was a delightful treat on a hot summer day. 2. The weekend getaway to the spa was a well-deserved treat for the hard-working team. 3. Grandma always had a special homemade treat waiting for us when we visited. 4. Going to the movies was a rare treat for the children. As a verb, the word, treat, means to behave towards or deal with in a certain way. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, treat, as a verb. 1. He always treats his colleagues with respect and kindness. 2. The doctor advised her to treat the infection with antibiotics. 3. The company decided to treat their employees to a day at the amusement park. 4. She was treated to a fancy dinner at the new restaurant in town. Treatment noun. The word, treatment, is a noun in the English language that refers to the management or care of a patient, an application of remedies for a disease, or a therapeutic process. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, treatment, as a noun. 1. The new drug shows promising results in the treatment of arthritis. 2. She underwent a course of physical therapy as part of her treatment for the back injury. 3. The clinic offers various treatments for skin conditions, including acne and eczema. 4. He sought alternative treatments such as acupuncture and herbal medicine for his chronic pain. Treaty noun. The word, Treaty is a noun in the English language, which refers to a formally concluded and ratified agreement between countries. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of treaty as a noun. 1. The peace treaty ended the long-standing conflict between the two nations. 2. The trade treaty facilitated smoother commerce between the neighboring countries. 3. The treaty outlined specific terms for the protection of the environment. 4. Negotiators from both sides met to discuss the terms of the new bilateral treaty. Tree noun. The word, tree, is a noun in the English language that refers to a woody perennial plant, typically having a single stem or trunk growing to a considerable height. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tree, as a noun. 1. The children enjoyed climbing the large oak tree in the backyard. 2. The orchard was filled with apple trees, their branches heavy with fruit. 3. The forest was dense, with tall pine trees reaching towards the sky. 4. The old willow tree by the river provided a peaceful spot for contemplation. Tremendous adjective. The word, tremendous, is an adjective in the English language that means extraordinarily great in size, amount, or intensity. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tremendous, as an adjective. 1. She made a tremendous effort to finish the project ahead of schedule. 2. The team's performance was truly tremendous, leading them to victory. 3. The hurricane caused tremendous damage to the coastal towns. 4. His dedication to the cause had a tremendous impact on the community. Trend noun. The word, trend, 
is a noun in the English language that refers to a general direction in which something is developing or changing. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of trend as a noun. 1. The current trend in fashion is towards minimalistic and sustainable clothing. 2. There has been a noticeable trend of increased interest in organic food in recent years. 3. The sales data reflects a positive trend in the company's revenue over the past quarter. 4. The trend of remote work has gained significant momentum since the pandemic began. Trial noun. The word, trial, can be used as a noun and refers to a formal examination of evidence before a judge, and typically before a jury, in order to decide guilt in a case. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trial, as a noun. 1. The defendant is scheduled to appear for his trial next week. 2. The jury deliberated for several days before reaching a verdict in the high-profile trial. 3. The legal team prepared meticulously for the complex trial ahead. 4. The witnesses provided compelling testimony during the course of the trial. Trick noun, verb. The word, trick, is a noun refers to a cunning or skillful act or scheme intended to deceive or outwit someone. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trick, as a noun. 1. The magician's final trick left the audience in complete astonishment. 2. Playing tricks on others during Halloween is a common tradition. 3. He fell for her trick and ended up revealing more than he intended. 4. The detective saw through the criminal's clever trick and apprehended him. The word, trick, is a verb means to deceive or outwit someone by being cunning or skillful. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trick, as a verb. 1. She tricked her little brother into believing there were monsters in the closet. 2. The con artist tricked the elderly couple into giving away their life savings. 3. He managed to trick the security system and enter the building undetected. 4. The children tricked their teacher into letting them have extra playtime. Tricky adjective. The word, tricky, is an adjective in the English language that refers to something that is difficult to deal with or do because it is complicated or full of problems. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, tricky, as an adjective. 1. Solving this puzzle can be quite tricky, even for experienced players. 2. Navigating through the busy city streets during rush hour can be a tricky task. 3. Understanding the nuances of this subject can be tricky for those new to the field. 4. Negotiating the terms of the contract proved to be a tricky process due to differing priorities. Trip noun, verb. The word, trip, is a noun refers to a journey or excursion, typically for pleasure or to perform a specific task. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trip, as a noun. 1. The family is planning a road trip to the Grand Canyon for their summer vacation. 2. She took a business trip to Paris to attend an important conference. 3. The school organized an educational trip to the Science Museum for the students. 4. Our backpacking trip through the rainforest was an unforgettable adventure. The word, trip, is a verb means to stumble or fall, or to catch one's foot on something and stumble. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trip, as a verb. 1. She accidentally tripped over the uneven pavement and scraped her knee. 2. He nearly tripped on the rug as he hurried to answer the doorbell. 3. Be cautious not to trip on the extension cord while walking across the room. 4. The hiker tripped on a protruding tree root, but fortunately, he caught himself before falling. Troop noun, verb. As a noun, troop, refers to a group of people, especially soldiers or a group of people with shared characteristics or who perform specific activities together. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, troop, as a noun. 1. A troupe of performers took the stage and captivated the audience with their energetic dance routine. 2. The troupe of soldiers marched in unison, displaying discipline and precision. 3. A troupe of enthusiastic volunteers gathered to clean up the local park and plant trees. 4. The Boy Scouts troop went on a hiking expedition in the nearby mountains. As a verb, troop means to walk or move somewhere in a group. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of troop as a verb. 1. The children trooped into the school cafeteria for lunch. 2. The protesters trooped towards the city center, chanting slogans and carrying banners. 3. The guests trooped into the conference room for the presentation. 4. 
After the movie ended, the audience trooped out of the theater, discussing the film excitedly. Trouble noun, verb. As a noun, trouble refers to problems, difficulties, or disturbances, often causing worry, distress, or inconvenience. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of trouble as a noun. 1. The company has been facing financial troubles for the past year. 2. The child's behavior at school has caused a lot of trouble for the teachers. 3. He found himself in deep trouble when he missed the crucial deadline. 4. The sudden power outage caused a lot of trouble for the residents of the neighborhood. As a verb, trouble means to cause distress, worry, or inconvenience to someone. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of trouble as a verb. 1. Please don't trouble yourself with the dishes, I'll take care of them. 2. I hope I'm not troubling you with all my questions. 3. His constant complaints troubled his friends, who wanted to help but didn't know how. 4. The recent events troubled her greatly, and she couldn't focus on anything else. Trousers noun. The word, trousers, refers to an outer garment that covers the body from the waist to the ankles, covering each leg separately. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trousers. 1. He always wears well-pressed trousers and a crisp white shirt to work. 2. She chose to wear a stylish pair of trousers instead of a dress to the formal event. 3. In the winter, he often wears thermal trousers to stay warm during his outdoor activities. 4. The fashion store is offering a variety of trendy trousers for both men and women this season. Truck noun. The word, truck, refers to a large, heavy motor vehicle used for transporting goods, materials, or troops. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, truck. 1. The delivery company used a large truck to transport the furniture across the country. 2. The farm workers loaded the harvested crops onto the back of the truck. 3. The military used a convoy of trucks to transport troops and equipment to the base. 4. The construction company purchased a new fleet of trucks for transporting building materials to the site. True adjective. The word, true, refers to something that is in accordance with fact or reality. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, true. 1. His statements about the incident were proven to be true by multiple witnesses. 2. The true identity of the mysterious author was finally revealed in a surprising twist. 3. It is true that hard work pays off, but it also requires patience and dedication. 4. The painting is a true representation of the artist's emotional journey during that period. Truly adverb. The word, truly, is an adverb in the English language that means, in a truthful or sincere way, or, in accordance with fact or reality. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, truly. 1. She truly believes in the power of positive thinking and its impact on one's life. 2. He is truly dedicated to his craft, spending countless hours perfecting his skills. 3. The sculpture is truly a masterpiece, capturing the essence of movement and grace. 4. The friends were truly grateful for each other's support during the difficult times. Trust noun, verb. As a noun, trust, refers to the firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of, trust, is a noun. 1. The trust between the two friends was unshakable, built on years of shared experiences and mutual support. 2. The organization was built on a foundation of trust, where each member's contributions were valued equally. 3. He placed his complete trust in his team, knowing they would deliver results beyond expectations. 4. The breach of trust within the company led to widespread turmoil and loss of confidence among employees. As a verb, Trust means to believe in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of trust as a verb. 1. Despite her initial reservations, she learned to trust her new colleague's judgment and work ethic. 2. He had to trust the mechanic's expertise when it came to fixing his car, as he had no knowledge of automobiles himself. 3. It takes time to trust someone completely, especially after experiencing betrayal or deception in the past. 4. The team leader had to trust his team's decision-making abilities, allowing them to take ownership of their respective tasks. Truth noun. The word, truth, refers to the quality or state of being in accordance with fact or reality. 
Here are four sentences that illustrate the use of truth as a noun. 1. Honesty is important in maintaining the truth in any relationship. 2. The court sought to discover the truth behind the series of events that led to the crime. 3. In philosophical discussions, the concept of absolute truth often arises as a matter of inquiry. 4. It took years for the historical truth about the event to be unearthed through extensive research and examination. Try noun, verb. The word, try, primarily functions as a verb in English. However, it can be used as a noun in specific contexts, usually in the legal or sporting domain, to indicate an attempt or effort. Here are four sentences that demonstrate the use of, try, as a noun. 1. The defendant's lawyer made a compelling argument during the second try of the case. 2. The team's last-minute try secured their victory in the championship match. 3. Despite several unsuccessful tries, the company remained determined to launch their new product successfully. 4. The multiple tries at negotiation failed to yield any concrete agreements between the two parties. The word, try, is a verb in English means to attempt or make an effort to do something. Here are four sentences illustrating the use of, try, as a verb. 1. I will try to finish this project before the deadline. 2. She is going to try her best to succeed in the upcoming competition. 3. They decided to try a new approach to solving the persistent issue. 4. If you try hard enough, you might be able to achieve your goals. Tube noun. The word, tube, in English refers to a cylindrical, hollow structure, usually with a round or oval shape. Here are four sentences illustrating the use of, tube, in various contexts. 1. The dentist used a small tube to clean the patient's teeth thoroughly. 2. She bought a tube of toothpaste from the store. 3. The scientist studied the flow of liquid through the narrow tube in the laboratory. 4. The artist used a paint tube to squeeze out the colors onto the palette. Tune noun. The word, tune, in English has multiple meanings, including adjusting an instrument, a melody, or a state of being in harmony. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The musician spent hours trying to tune his guitar perfectly before the performance. 2. The catchy tune of the song stuck in my head all day long. 3. The two siblings were in perfect tune with each other, effortlessly harmonizing their voices. 4. The technician used a device to fine-tune the engine of the car for better performance. Tunnel noun. The word, tunnel, in English refers to an underground passage or a passage through a mountain. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The train entered the tunnel, enveloping the passengers in temporary darkness. 2. The miners worked tirelessly to excavate a new tunnel for the underground railway. 3. The authorities closed the tunnel temporarily for maintenance and repairs. 4. The flashlight was necessary to navigate the dark tunnel during the exploration. Turn noun, verb. The word, turn, in English can refer to a change in direction or position, or the act of taking one's turn. Here are four sentences illustrating its use as a noun. 1. She took a sudden turn to the left and disappeared down the narrow alley. 2. It's your turn to present your project to the class. 3. The car made a sharp turn to avoid colliding with the pedestrian. 4. The country took a positive turn with the new leadership, ushering in a period of growth and prosperity. The word, turn, in English can also function as a verb, indicating an action of rotating or moving in a specific direction. Here are four sentences illustrating its use as a verb. 1. He quickly turned the key in the lock to open the door. 2. They had to turn the car around to head back in the right direction. 3. The dancer gracefully turned on her toes during the performance. 4. I often turn to my friends for advice when I need help with a decision. TV noun. The abbreviation, TV, in English stands for, television, which is a device used for receiving and displaying broadcasts. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. They enjoy watching TV shows in the evening to relax. 2. The family room has a large flat screen TV mounted on the wall. 3. I prefer to watch the news on TV rather than reading it online. 4. The TV was showing a documentary about wildlife conservation efforts. Twice adverb, predator minor. The word, twice, is used as an adverb in English to indicate that something happens two times. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. 
She checked her watch twice to confirm the meeting time. 2. The phone rang twice before she answered it. 3. He has traveled to Europe twice in the last five years. 4. The recipe instructed me to bake the cake twice to ensure it was cooked thoroughly. The word, twice, can also function as a presetterminer in English, helping to specify the quantity of a noun that occurs two times. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. She made twice the amount of pasta for the family dinner. 2. He earns twice the salary of his co-workers due to his experience. 3. The company made twice the profit this year compared to last year. 4. We spent twice the amount of money on groceries this month because of the party. Twist verb. The word, twist, can have multiple meanings in the English language, including to turn or rotate around a central axis or to distort the shape or form of something. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. He used all his strength to twist the stubborn lid off the jar. 2. The plot of the novel took a sudden twist that surprised the readers. 3. She tried to twist her ankle intentionally to avoid attending the game. 4. The tornado was powerful enough to twist the metal bars of the fence. Type noun. The word, type, can have several meanings in the English language, including a category of people or things having common characteristics, or a kind or a class of things. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. He belongs to the introverted type who prefers spending time alone. 2. What type of car are you planning to purchase? 3. She has a strong preference for a specific type of cuisine when dining out. 4. The library contains various types of books, catering to different reading interests. Typical adjective. The word, typical, refers to something that exhibits the qualities or characteristics of a particular group or set, often considered to be the norm or expected. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. The climate in this region is typical of a tropical rainforest, with high humidity and abundant rainfall. 2. It was a typical reaction from her, bursting into laughter at the slightest provocation. 3. The painting is a typical example of the artist's style, with vibrant colors and bold brush strokes. 4. The behavior he displayed during the meeting was typical of his tendency to dominate discussions. Tire noun. The word, tire, refers to the rubber covering, typically inflated and surrounding a wheel of a vehicle such as a car, bicycle, or motorcycle. Here are four sentences to illustrate its use. 1. He had to replace the worn-out tire on his bike after it went flat during his morning ride. 2. The car skidded on the wet road due to the lack of traction from its balding tires. 3. The mechanic advised the driver to check the tire pressure regularly to ensure optimal performance and safety. 4. The team quickly changed the damaged tire during the pit stop to avoid losing valuable time in the race. And that is all for this English vocabulary in use section until we meet again. Don't forget to support this channel by like, share and subscribe and also to buy the best merch on my store in which I give a link in the description below. This is English Grammar Audio Tutorials signing off.